It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. <laughs> New Year's Eve. Okay, Indeed. the spam. Why? Why? Why create uh, the world's largest spam? Because 2020 doesn't get to just be all bad memories, right? And uh, and there's people out there that need help. And I think that the best time to give is when uh, we all need a little something ourselves. It reminds us why to give. And so, uh, in the end, it was really something of. I mean, no kidding. It was that I was trying to On New Year- just end this year with something great to remember. And uh, <clears throat> so. Called a few people, got together, and uh, since we own a Hawaiian restaurant, and Spam Musubi is kind of one of those very, very specific to Hawaii uh, treats, <clears throat> I got on and found out there was a Guinness World Record for a Spam Musubi made in 2012, 681 pounds. I said, Clarksville can beat that. Right. And we did. And let's feed homeless people while we're at it. Here, let's take that's a look awesome. at the. Uh, so uh, that's what we did. Because intern Shane was on the on location reporting. He did great. Let's take a look. Aww, on New Year's awesome. Eve in Clarksville, Tennessee, a locally owned Hawaiian restaurant broke the world record for the largest masubi cooked. The creation of the world's largest rice and spam sushi was made for the most selfless reasons: feeding the homeless. Every single thing that we had that we did here was donated by a local business. The food, the building material, the facility everything so every single penny that was raised which was about three thousand dollars went directly to the people who need it the most there was no overhead costs that were needed to be covered uh the businesses took care of that and um tomorrow thousands of people who would went without a meal in this new year are going to eat that's what it was about that is what i'm proud of The event took place at Loaves and Fishes in downtown Clarksville, where it is their mission to provide for those in need. Our primary mission is to feed the hungry of the Clarksville Montgomery County area, and that's doing in a a daily meal and also in providing pantry goods to other organizations. The new facility at 825 Crossland Avenue is an extremely larger build out to expand the mission, so it's over 15,000 square feet with a primary mission still to feed those in the community, but it is more of a community-oriented, multi-purpose facility, as you've seen. Throughout the day, hundreds came out in support, including Water Dog Scuba and Safety, Yapak Outreach, ArtLink, and the community <laughs> leaders. The previous record was 620 Look at the size pounds. of that thing. The new record Jeez. has nearly doubled. And so normally they're about eight ounces or so, and uh, we made one over 1,120 pounds. As 2020 came to a close, the philanthropic team involved wanted to end the year in a positive light. No matter what happens, good, bad, up or down, I know that God is there with us. He has our back and our community is going forward. And you want to know peace and joy in 2021? Get to know Jesus. For those able to donate there goes money, Muslim food, or time, visit <laughs> Loaves and Fishes TN. Yeah, I think the uh, spam did that for us already. <laughs> 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 Maybe it was turkey spam. Oh, oh, lawyer Wayne, that was good. Oh, turkey <laughs> spam. That was good. <laughs> Did he say it? He said, so, hey, no kidding. What well, that was all about was uh, I just didn't want 2020. My, I say, I hate saying I, my team. We yeah. had chemos. We were all sitting there talking about it, and we just said, we're not going to let 2020 win everything, and it just all be, you know, bah. Yeah. And um, ever heard the story Stone Soup? Is it short? It's very short. <laughs> I know I'm long-winded, yeah, but it's basically a couple of soldiers man. came in and <laughs> they didn't have any food. They went to a town and they asked everybody in the town, uh, you know, hey, we need some food. And nobody had anything, so they went out in the middle of the town. They just started they they started boiling a pot of water and they threw two rocks in it. Uh-huh. People said, "What are you doing?" They're like, "We're making stone soup." Well, what's in it? I got some carrots. Before you knew it, they had an entire beef stew. Like everybody in the town came through it together and fed everybody. That's awesome. And so That's when everybody cool. went around and said no, once yeah. they came together as a team, they fed the whole town. It was stone soup. Everybody go check out stone soup. It was an emergency. That's it. what this is about. It's about taking care of people. It's about feeding those who need it. You know, we're all hurting right now. Um, but there's people out there who are hurting a lot worse. It's going to be right. 22 degrees tonight, and there are right. folks who are not sleeping inside. It's true. It's right? true. That's so a good point. To date, wow. that yeah. big old spam mm-hmm. has fed almost 2,000 people. That's, That's pretty amazing. impressive. Good for you. Nice job. Nice no, job. No, good for Clarkson. Yeah. 
Good stuff. Hey, good that was stuff. a good job good by Mark intern Shane, too. Right? Good job, Not a bad job on the video, right? Shane, yeah. Shane? intern, that mm-hmm. looked good. Good narration, like everything. Been a man. newsman for a while. Good right. cadence, good voice, good yeah. job, yeah. man. So let's yeah, give it up for Shane job. over here. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, believe me, a lot of editing. Okay. It was a lot of editing. Okay. So it was nice. I know, it was very good. Yeah, clap for him. Right. So for those that don't have a place to go tonight, and it is going to be super yes. cold, um, are there places that you know of that you can kind of just throw out there real quick? Yeah, you want to talk to uh, Yay Packs, you want to talk to Flourishing Families, you want to talk to uh, uh, Loaves and Fishes, you want to talk to, uh, you want to talk to uh, Mana Cafe. Right and on. guess what, Joe? What's up? What's up, Joe? Yay Pack mm-hmm. just opened a branch in Hawaii. Oh, really? And I got interviewed by Hawaii. It's yeah. been on Channel 2 News in Hawaii. And I got interviewed by another uh, a radio station there today. Yeah. And uh, we're talking about maybe trying to conduct a Clarksville, Hawaii, you know, yearly thing. So That'd be see. cool. We'll find, it, uh, we'll, f- we'll find out who has a, the biggest musu be. Thank you, Bethany. Clarksville. Bethany, Bethany, Bethany. Yes, I know. I'm trying to transition. Yeah, I know. I can talking. tell by the shut up music. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what they're telling you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's the Joe Padula Show. Bada bing. Clarksville's conversation.